Hello, good evening to you. Ariel Sharon, the Israeli Prime Minister, is in a stable condition in hospital after suffering a stroke. The 77-year-old fell unconscious before being taken to hospital near Jerusalem earlier this evening. Bird flu reality. Live birds banned at one of Britain's biggest country shows. Radical schools shake up. Will it mean a better education for all? I did not lie under oath. George Galloway denies new claims. And all grown up, Harry Potter and friends admit the new film is scary. Hello, good evening to you. The threat of bird flu in Britain is one step closer to reality this evening, with live birds banned from one of our largest agricultural shows. David Cameron secured two-thirds of the vote. Now he says he'll make big changes to the party in his bid to end Labour's eight years in power. From the government in 2003. Emma, we're going to have to just stop you there for one moment. We're just receiving uh, some news. We have reports now that Robin Cook has died aged 59. This report's just reaching us now. Good evening to you. Now, should a girl's mum and dad know if she's considering having an abortion? Well, one mother believes they should. Being older, I can remember years ago when we had backstreet abortionists. This is what will happen in every city in the land if this lady actually achieves what she's after achieving. Okay, which is... I'm going to put that straight to our panellists now because that's a very serious uh, charge that you're putting there. Antonia Zimic, back to back street abortions, that's not what anybody wants. Exclusive, the full story on why police shot dead an innocent man. ITV News can reveal the full story behind the killing of Jean-Charles de Menezes, the Brazilian electrician police wrongly believed was a suicide bomber. We've exclusively obtained secret documents and photographs that detail why police shot him dead at Stockwell Tube last month. They make astonishing reading. The Presbyterian Church, of course, was protesting today outside the first same-sex civil ceremony in Belfast. And I'm joined now from Cardiff by Dr. Peter Naylor of the Presbyterian Church. Presumably, as a Christian, you'll recognize that the cornerstone of most religions is, is love. And here are people wanting similar rights to heterosexual couples to express their love for one another. The Bible uh, teaches us that we should love one another, but... Uh... The Bible also guides us as to what uh, is a right love and what is a wrong love. There are uh, things that go under the name of love which are wrong. Okay, let me put those points to Ruth Hunt from Stonewall. There's right love, there's wrong love, yours is wrong love. Hello, good evening, I'm Susan Bookbinder and this is London Tonight. The great train robber Ronnie Biggs is on the verge of starting a hunger strike that doctors have warned could kill him. Well, Tony Blair left no one in any doubt today that he intends to press ahead with controversial terror laws. He insisted they hadn't been dreamt up by him, but were wanted by most senior police officers. Well, tonight, Tony Blair addressed the Parliamentary Labour Party in a bid to convince his critics and reassert his authority. One quick sports line for you now, and England will go into next summer's World Cup finals with the official tag as the second best side on the planet. We're back on Tuesday, so that all that remains is to wish you a very happy new year. Whatever you're doing, have a great evening. Goodbye.